It's not going to be hard to get people to take it. They're going to think it's a good thing. God's Word says don't take it. California, you, you cannot get welfare unless you have your hand imaged. So there is a, a move for the right hand to be used for identification. I have here in the front of my book, this is the Biojex project. I've had to blank out some things that were secret, top secret. But this is the device that puts the microchip in. I want you to... Revelation uh, 16. In my efforts to try to stop the microchip from being, to, to stop it from being manufactured, I knew that research had not been done on the effects of lithium in the body. So I called a doctor at the Boston Medical Center who had been on the project. I said, what would happen if the microchip gets shattered or broken and the lithium is in the body? He said, you would get a sore. He said you would get a sore like a boil. I said, what kind of sore like a boil? And I was writing all the time. He said you'd get a grievous sore. It would not heal. I was looking at Revelation 16.2 a short time after that. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. This is a single sore. Will God cause the microchip to be shattered in all those people that receive it? I don't know. I just think it's very unusual that there would be a sore that would be one sore, not many sores. God has very carefully told us in his word not to take a mark in the forehead or in the hand. It was very easy to get babies to put this microchip in. All they did was run an ad in the paper, and they said $25 will be paid for every child, birth through one year old, that you bring for a government experiment. Women lined up in the rain with their babies to get the microchip. And so the message I give you tonight and the message that we share is that this is real. Stand in God's Word and don't take it. I met with a man from the CIA in Manassas, Virginia, and he warned me about some of the things that I was saying. But he also told me, you can't stop this thing. And I told him, I'm not trying to stop it. I'm trying to warn God's people. And so our reason for being here is not to cause you to form a group to go against the government. Our reason for being here is to inform you so you will be stronger in Jesus Christ. I believe if God's people will pray, and we can have one more day, one more week, one more month to tell people about Jesus Christ. outlines. Who needs them? Have a nice day. This is the future of e-business. To think something so small can connect you to everything that matters. When your life and all you love are on the line. Elflink is always with you. 
when every second counts in the emergency room, providing immediate access to your medical records. Because Bob has trouble remembering all his medications. Because I'm in love with my kids' kids. Because my car lost control while driving. Because now I'm looking out for both of us. Because I have diabetes, but it doesn't have me. Because I spend my life in the ER trying to save yours.